the Western Ghats uh, is one of the biodiversity hotspots. We have three such hotspots uh, within the country, one of which is the Western Ghats. And they are very, very interesting for several reasons. One is that there is no other global uh, biodiversity hotspot which is situated in such a thickly populated place. So that has its own challenges globally, globally. Yeah, so there is, this is the most thickly populated biodiversity hotspot ever anywhere globally. So therefore, I mean, there are, there are special challenges which, you know, you, you, we need to address in order to keep this biodiversity or to try and uh, preserve this uh, uh, biodiversity hotspot. Now, uh, the Western Ghats, as you know, I mean, there are, it passes through several of uh, the Indian states and they offer a huge uh, range of ecosystem services, cultural values, watershed services. I mean, there are just innumerable number of ways in which the Western Ghats contributes to us, both in an economic sense as well as an aesthetic sense and an economic sense. They are a treasure house for a lot of medicinal plants many of which we don't have we don't have an appreciation for what kind of value they potential value they could bring about or they they are uh, since the western ghats are such an ancient uh, chain of mountains um, they are uh, there are centers of endemism with species that are highly restricted not far from where we are sitting right now are the very special um, um, you know forests called the miristika swamp forest which are the last remnants of lowland evergreen forest. Uh, this is in uh, this uh, uh, Kulatapura and Shendurni and Tenmala regions. So globally, this kind of an ecosystem, which is predominantly by this family, which is called the Miristicaceae family, they are, uh, I think, um, uh, you would probably recognize them as nutmegs. Right? So nutmegs or jatika, what, they, what it is called. So these are all, they dominate those forests. And this family is a very ancient plant family. So these are, you know, uh, by looking at these or by preserving these uh, Meristika swamp forests, for instance, um, they offer excellent refuge for endemic species. There are species that are highly rare or fragmented and these all occur within the Meristika swamp forest, but they are constantly being threatened by agricultural activities, human settlements. And so what we have is just, you know, a pocket full of uh, fragments which are quickly disappearing. So there are very special kind of ecosystems or forest types within the Western Ghats which are quite uh, irreplaceable in value. We can't find it anywhere else, you know. So these are all reasons why the Western Ghats occupies a huge uh, value or bring a huge value for this country that is often underappreciated.